my students often ask me, how can I improve my English? Now, if you're taking English lessons, this means you're only studying for a particular period of time, maybe one hour a day or one hour a week. So I often suggest that they engage with English materials outside of class. So this could be going on social media, YouTube or Instagram, or it could also be listening to podcasts or watching movies. But my favorite way is to watch sitcoms. A sitcom is short for situational comedy. So it's a funny TV show, which uh, the characters are found in daily situations and they have funny reactions to these daily situations. And because of this, you can learn a lot of really practical English because you too are going to be in these daily situations. And they don't speak academically. They don't speak perfectly in these shows. They use a lot of expressions and a lot of slang. So by watching sitcoms, you can really learn real English. So today I'm going to recommend some of my favorite sitcoms, okay? The first one, my all-time favorite, is Seinfeld. So we go in NBC, we tell them I got an idea for a show about nothing. Exactly. They say, what's your show about? I say nothing. There you go. I think you may have something here. <laughs> so this is an American sitcom television series created by Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld was a famous comedian in the 1980s and NBC gave him his own TV show, which went from 1989 till 1998, had nine seasons and 180 episodes. It focuses on Jerry Seinfeld's uh, life. It's a f he plays a version of himself, has the same name on the show as he does in real life. And um, it focuses on him and his three friends, George, Elaine, and Kramer. And a lot of the, the jokes and the stories from this show are inspired by Jerry's real comedy and also Larry David's real life experience. It's um, set in New York City and it's often described as a show about nothing because it focuses on the details of daily life. Um, so for this reason, I think you can learn a lot about, you know, everyday English from this show because it's a show about nothing. It's just about life. Okay, the next one is Friends. Now, Friends is also an American television sitcom created by David Crane and Marta Kaufman, which aired on NBC from September 22nd, 1994 to May 6th, 2004, and it had 10 seasons. So this is also set in New York City, and the show revolves around six friends in their 20s and 30s who live in Manhattan, New York. Um, it's very funny. There's three men and three women. The men are Joey, Ross, and Chandler, and the women are Rachel, Monica, and Phoebe. And Monica and Ross are actually brother and sister. Um, so that's the connection. Like that's how the group of friends is kind of structured around those two. And this is also kind of inspired by Seinfeld, I would say, because it's sort of a show about nothing. It focuses on their daily lives, their relationships, their jobs, um, crazy situations that happen to them. And this is a great show. I think it's on Netflix. You can watch all 10 seasons. Um, so yeah, Friends. Number three is um, a little more obscure. It's called Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh can't give a begrudging apology. You gotta give a sincere apology. I'll go somewhere between begrudging and sincere. How's that? Somewhere between, where between? I'll straddle the line. What kind of line? It's not completely sincere and it's not completely begrudging. It's very funny, um, but it's not really mainstream. So it's created by Larry David, who, if you remember, he was the co-creator of Seinfeld. 
And Larry David stars in this sitcom, and he plays a fictionalized version of himself. And it's about his life uh, in Los Angeles, and he's playing himself. So on the show, he is the same person as he is in real life. And that's why it's really funny because you've heard people who have heard stories of Larry David, and we've seen his comedy reflected through Seinfeld. We can see in this show that he actually is like this. And one great thing about this show is that the majority of it is improvised. So the actors and actresses are put into situations uh, where Larry David will kind of set the scene, but he won't write the lines. So the actors get to show their talent by improvising, and they produce a lot of very realistic conversations and scenes. For this reason, I think it's great for people practicing English. This show first came out in the year 2000, so that's a long time ago, but they've taken a lot of breaks. So they'll make a couple seasons and then take a break and then come back. And, you know, they're still, they're still going. I think they made season 12 last year. So they're still making shows. Next one is Trailer Park Boys. Who in this park? Or even who in the whole world doesn't have problems? Who doesn't have a drink too many times once in a while and maybe even winds up passed out in their own driveway pissing themselves? Huh? I mean, sir. This is the, the best uh, Canadian television sh series ever, in my opinion, uh, created by Mike Clattenburg. Um, and it's basically following a group of friends who live in what's called a trailer park which is a place where people live in Canada who have a lower income or lower social status. And um, it's set in Nova Scotia, which is one of the provinces of Canada. This series premiered on April 22nd, uh, 2001. And it originally ran for seven seasons till 2008. And in my opinion, these are really the best um, seasons of Trailer Park Boys, season one to seven because they came back many years later and started making new uh, seasons on Netflix. But in my opinion, these new seasons are not very good. So I would stick to the first seven seasons. It's, uh, it's funny. I'll warn you, it has a lot of uh, profanity, a lot of swearing, but really the show, uh, the characters, they have a good heart and they just care about family and their friends. And um, this is particularly good if you're interested in Canadian culture because you can sort of see th things through a Canadian lens, you know, not American. So yeah, Trailer Park Boys. The next one, The Big Bang Theory. Fascinating. What? It appears to be a Lord of the Rings ring. Oh. It's even got the Elvish engraving on it. <laughs> it's not Elvish. It's the language of Mordor written in Elvish script. <laughs> This is an American sitcom created by Chuck Lorre and Bill Prady. Um, and it focuses on academics, four academics. Three of them are physicists and one of them is an engineer. And they're kind of uh, nerdy, they're kind of smart, they love comic books and Star Trek. Um, but it's about them and also their eventual girlfriends. Eventually they meet girlfriends. So. Um, it's really, I would, I would recommend this show for people who want to improve their scientific and advanced vocabulary, because the way the academics talk is uh, very sophisticated. They use big words. And I would turn on the subtitles for this one because there might be some words you never heard and you can just uh, follow along with the subtitles. There's uh, 12 seasons. It went from 2007 to 2019. Okay, the next one is community. No one to see while we spoon. Let's take a trip in my airship. And we'll visit the man in the moon. Hey, hey, hey! This is a sitcom created by Dan Harmon. The series ran for six seasons. 
and from 2009 to 2014. And it's uh, about a community college in Colorado. And it has a bunch of friends who come from very different backgrounds in uh, this community college and they form a study group. And it's, uh, it's kind of a strange show. They have a lot of pop culture references and they pay homage to film and television cliches and tropes. So I would check it out. It's very unique and quite funny. Would I rather be feared or loved? Um, easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. Okay, The Office. The next one is The Office. It's a mockumentary sitcom. So what is a mockumentary? A uh, mockumentary is when they're pretending to be a documentary, but it's fictional. I forgot to mention Trailer Park Boys is like this too. Uh, but uh, The Office was created by comedian Ricky Gervais, and it was first made in the United Kingdom. But eventually, um, they made an American version, and this is the one that really took off, and they had nine seasons. It was from 2005 to 2013, and it had a huge viewership. Um, millions of people watched this show. I believe it was one of the most popular shows on Netflix, too. Uh, I love this show. It's hilarious. The manager, Michael Scott, is just uh, played by Steve Carell. It's just so funny. And I would recommend this show if perhaps you are interested in vocabulary people use at work, business English, meetings, um, sales, all of these kind of things. Uh, it will be in this show. Uh, so check it out. Okay, so those are my recommendations for sitcoms to improve your English. I do hope that you watch them because, in my opinion, you have to engage with English material on your own time. You cannot just rely on teachers to teach you things. You got to uh, tap into this vast media of English material and it will very, it'll really help you to teach yourself and to learn more quickly and to learn more practical English. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you. And let me know if I missed any sitcoms. Are there any funny shows that you have watched and that have helped you improve your English? Maybe I missed them. So please let me know. Thank you for watching and good luck studying. Your homework is to watch TV.